Hey, what's up guys? It's Toxic here, and welcome back to the trading series. Now, in this episode, we're not going to really be going into trade hangout or really setting any trades either. We're mostly going to be just relaxing, looking over the completed trades we've done during the past week, and, you know, kind of just talking about Christmas, because if you guys don't know, Christmas is coming up in three days, and there's usually a lot of hype around items when Christmas comes around, especially the high demand items. There's always a lot of hype around them because they tend to sell more, which means the prices get driven up, and items tend to raise during Christmas. Now, if you guys didn't see my previous video, I kind of stressed about this a little bit because with the introduction of UGC, the lack of Christmas items on, on the catalog to begin with, the fact that there have been no leaks, I didn't mention this in the video, but actually there have been no leaks in regards to, you know, a big item coming this Christmas either. So it seems like all that we really have to bank on is hoping that kids who get Robux don't go for purely UGC items, but also buy some, you know, items that are limited as well. So I, I've kind of been stressing about it, but I still kind of believe that there's a chance that, you know, items are going to go up during Christmas. I'm not too sure though. It, it could be the end of the Christmas hype though, but Okay, I'm not gonna end this on a sad note or anything. I also want to point out my outfit because I'm more than sure somebody just clicked on this video and wondered, what is this guy who sounds like he's not a child dressing like a child on Roblox? What is he doing? Okay, th this outfit I made was a joke. Okay, I made this uh, uh, like Friday, I think it was, maybe Friday night. I was just messing around and I was like, what's an outfit that kids, when they get Robux uh, for Christmas, what are they probably going to dress up like? And I figured this is probably the most accurate, you know, a character I could create. You know, you got the core blocks, arms and legs. You got the bait hoodie. You got the Adidas shoes that are kind of pixelated because they're ripoffs that I don't remember buying. And then you have the Ice Valkyrie and the uh, Dominus because Valkyrie and Dominus. <laughs> I just thought that this was just the perfect combination of items. And I, I thought it was kind of funny, but I'm more than sure nobody else found it funny. But... Yeah, let's go over our previous trades. Um, before I do that, though, I just want to point out, we have 86k wrap, almost 87k wrap. That's interesting, because Christmas hasn't even came yet. It's not even Thursday or Tuesday. It's not even Christmas, yet we're gaining so much wrap. If you look at my wrap chart on Rollamons, literally in the past week alone, you can see we had about 70k wrap, just about 80k wrap, up until yesterday, when it suddenly rocketed to 85k, almost 86k, and now we're almost at 87k. I think on the website right here, yeah, we... We're almost at 87k, which is something really interesting. But yeah, let's go take a look at our completed trades because we completed quite a few trades. And one of them isn't that good, but we'll talk about it once we get there. Now, we left off on this trade right here, the Musical Dominator for Ice Valkyrie. This item actually dropped to 28k. Right now it's at 30k on Rollamons. And I think it has a chance of going back to 35 and making this trade equal again because... I mean, look at the wrap. It's almost at 26k wrap. There's no way that it's not, you know, above 30k. And it's been like this for the past day or so. So I'm expecting a raise on Rollamon soon. Maybe like 32 to 35k. So either way, this is going to either be a loss or about even. But I still think it's a good trade um, for Christmas anyway. Then we have one with free Frieza Laws returns. Um, we gave Timeless Top Hat for, or um, Timeless Top Hat and Music of Fridges Dominator for Dominus for Midgelosis. This is a bad trade, but it was better when I did it. I promise you it was better when I completed this trade. And the reason for that is because Music of Fridges Dominator actually had a lot less rap when I traded it off. It had barely 10k rap. This had about 8.9k or 9k, something like that. Let me see, did it sell recently? Uh, no. Well, actually, I think this was the day I traded it off. No, it wasn't. Okay, so it had 9k wrap. It's been 9k wrap. And then this one had about, you know, 10k wrap. So it was about nine or er, yeah, 19k wrap in low demand items. Now this has almost uh like 11.5k wrap, which makes it look like a better item than it probably is. I don't know. But it's valued at 14k. This one's valued at 14k. This is valued at 26k. So it's a loss in value. I gain a lot of demand though and a lot of potential gain when Christmas comes around. And that's really what I was thinking about in this trade. I was thinking, I don't care about current values because the next minute this could drop or this could drop or this could raise and suddenly this trade becomes you know one trade that i regret not completing because when you think about it this item dominus for Midulosis, has a lot more potential than these items when, especially when it comes to christmas kids are going to be buying so many of these so i really believe that for Midulosis was a good trade right here even though i lost some value i think it was worth it um but moving on to the next trade from volupian 
We gave Adrite Antlers for Nubasis, or er, Adrite Antlers and Nubasist, uh, Gingerbread and S'mores for Super Duper Fly Cap. Now, just value this at 400 and 500, just round this up. Even though when I completed this, this was about 800 wrap, this is about 900 wrap now. But this is still a win, because this is 6,000, uh, 6, and then this is about 900 wrap for 7,000. So we gained about 100 Robux in value. And then we completed a trade with Venex Vexenius. Um, you can see, very good trade. We gave Ruby Serpent Mummy Mask for Double Platinum DJ, which is a million Robux item. But no, we traded it back. We, we only borrowed it to pin it, as you can see. We added it to our profile. If I go to my profile, you're going to see I pinned it. But yeah. Um, and then we completed one more trade with Tall Kid. You can see we gave Super Duper Flycap, two of them to be exact. Ruby Serpent, Mummy Mask, and our beloved Skaniner Boy. This item has been with us for a year, and it finally has left us. And it really hurts my soul to trade this off, but I did it in the name of value. You can see we gave about 14 plus, I would value this at 300 and 400, so 14.7k for 15k, because this is 9k and this is uh, 6k. So 9 plus 6 is 15, if you didn't know. I just noticed Playful Vampire has been gaining rap recently. It has almost 7,000 rap, but it's valued at 9k. I think this might be due for a race soon, and I have two of them, so this is going to be good for me, I can tell you that. But yeah, I genuinely believe that this was a pretty good trade. Because um, I have a doubt, I really do doubt that Super Duper Flycap is going to raise nearly as much as Playful Vampire. And then Blue Steel Bucket, it's a bucket. I think buckets in general just are really cool to kids. I mean... Bucket is doing a pretty well as an item with how many sales? Let me see. Let's go to Bucket in the catalog real quick. Um, we don't need a blue steel one. We just need the normal one. This has so many sales. It's a pretty common item. You can see 13,000 quantity sold. Uh, and then it sold an additional 26k. Are you kidding me right now? And if you look at how many it sells daily, you can see 22. Just generally on average, it sells about 8 to 9. So I really do believe that Buckets just have a kind of demand that is very good for Christmas. And this one being the blue steel one, I think it could potentially do better. This actually sold for really low. That sucks. The wrap really just got destroyed there because of that. But, yeah. Um, anyway, that's pretty much all the trades we completed. Um, honestly, the only trade that I think I could do, which I think I might do right now with you guys real quick, is just try to get Adrite Antlers from our blue steel bucket. Because even though this is selling for less right now, Look at the sales that this has. This sells a lot more. It has much higher demand, in my opinion. And this guy actually sent me a friend request. That's cool. Hopefully, uh, he, he keeps that energy and accepts my trade. <laughs> He's probably not going to. It's not It's not the best trade in the world, but it's definitely not a terrible trade. I can tell you that. Now, would it be wise to downgrade Radioactive Beast Mode for these? Probably not, but yeah. Um, let's send these trades, though. Blue Steel Bucket for Adroid Antlers. That's really all we're doing today, just sending these trades. This is really all the trades I'm going to be sending. I'm probably going to send a ton of these until we eventually get it. And then that's it. Do I have to follow to send? Hopefully. Oh, wait. He doesn't have premium. How is he selling it? I went to the seller's page. He's right here. He's selling it without premium. Hello? Can you sell stuff without premium now? Is that is that actually a thing? That's strange. But anyway, um, for the rest of the video, I'm just going to be talking about the potential, I think, the items I have will you know reach now i'm gonna be on the rollamons page for this because it's just easier to track on rollamons instead of going to like roblox plus and then zooming in on that and all that i feel like this is probably a better view at the items i currently have you can see a lot of the almost all the items i think every item actually is very good demand blue steel bucket is the only iffy item when it comes to demand i mean you can see even some, it's even marked as normal which is the lowest demand we have everything else i think is marked as high but yeah, let's just take a look at our current items and what I believe they could reach. Now, I don't even think this is 30k anymore, so just ignore this. I think they're just outdated with this. It's definitely going to race to 32 or 35 on this website soon. But I believe Ice Valkyrie has potential to reach something like 50,000. I know a lot of people are probably saying, you're crazy, Toxic. This can't possibly be a 50k item. But, I mean, I just want you guys to take a look at Ice Valkyrie and the normal Valkyrie, right? Now, there is an argument to be made that, you know, they look different, so therefore they could be selling different as well. But take a look at Ice Valkyrie, and then take a look at Valkyrie Helm. Look at the price difference between the two. 28k, 42k. And look at the colors. They're both blue. They both are the exact same mesh. The only difference is that this one's a lot cheaper. If we take a look at items that are cheaper, 
they tend to sell a lot more than the items that are, you know, more expensive. And I genuinely believe that this has an advantage on Valkyrie Helm. I think Ice Valkyrie is going to steal some of the Christmas hype that Valkyrie Helm usually has. And as a result, Valkyrie Helm won't raise as much as it usually does. And it said Ice Valkyrie might be raising quite a bit. And I feel like 50 might be a bit much, but I think 45 is a solid given. I think Ice Valkyrie is definitely going to at least 45 during Christmas. I think 50 might be a little bit much. Um, I've exaggerated with some people just messing around saying this is going to be a 70k item. And it never fails to get a reaction out of people saying that Ice Valkyrie equals 70 in a few days. So give me 70. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's what I think about Ice Valkyrie. I think it's definitely going to do pretty well. Dominus Revigilosis is not 26k. I think RBX City has it at 28k. I think that's a more fair value. I think 28 is better than 26 for this item. I'm not a biased owner. I mean, I gave 28 for it, so I expect it to be 28. <laughs> no, seriously though, um, I do believe this also has very, very big potential to do well during Christmas. Let's just go to the Formigilosis real quick. Take a look at the prices it's been selling at and how it's been recovering too. Look at how horribly it sold there and then it recovered right back to 20k. Now, look at the sellers for this item, right? And look at the normal sales, like right here, for example. It sold 93. If we go to 30 days, you can see. It sells on average about 10 plus times a day. And you can see even during this sale. Like, look at the Black Friday sale. Look how much it sold. It sold about 93 a day. And 55 and then 80. Imagine that during Christmas, which the prices will be going up, not down. Because nobody's going to be trying to sell lower during Christmas when they know everybody's buying Robux and buying these items. So it's only going to go up unless a lot of really dumb people start selling their Dominus for low for some reason. But you can see, just take a look at the prices. We click see more a few times. We're already in the 30s. We're already in the 40s. I doubt it's ever going to reach this far without getting price ward back down. But I do think that it has potential to even sell at 30s. And as a result, even though it's a pumpkin Dominus meant for, you know, Halloween, it's definitely an item that I think has potential to do all right during Christmas. I think a fair value or, you know, a fair prediction for this item is going to be probably in the 40s. Again, I think that it's a bit much. I think 35, maybe 40 is about what I would expect from Dominus from Igelosis. Um, I really doubt it's going to reach more than 40k though. The same way I doubt this is going to be 50k, I doubt this is 40k. It can, but it more than likely won't be 40k. Then we have Purple Bubble Trouble. This one's a classic. If we take a look at it, even on Rolamons, because they actually have an archive of all the, you know, um, sales and all that. If we just take a look at the all history for this. Take a look at December right here, right? When December rolls around, it used to sell for about, you know, fives, I guess, seven maybe, a few days, all that. And you can see it goes up to the tens during Christmas and the New Year's area. And it actually maintains it. It starts raising here in the 2017s. And then if we take a look over here, look at Christmas 2017. This item started going up and up. It even sold for what? 21.9k in February here, which is a lot further than, you know, Christmas and all that. But you can see like it genuine it generally sells a lot more during the Christmas time and it generally goes up as well, like a lot of demand items do. Now, if I had to give a kind of prediction for this item, I think it would probably reach just about 20. I don't think it's going to do too, anything too crazy. I mean, Bubble Troubles never really did insane during Christmas. As you saw, it barely really went up during Christmas. Nothing too crazy, but it did go up a little bit. I think 20k is a fair value uh, or prediction for when Christmas comes around. Radioactive Beast Mode, however, is a beast mode. Beast modes do really well during Christmas. Uh, I haven't seen this one during Christmas, actually, so it could have done terrible during Christmas. I wouldn't know. Uh, Christmas rolls around right about here. You can see it goes up to 11K, 10K from, you know, 9 to 8K. So I think this is probably going to be repeating. I think it's going to do the same thing. There's only been one Christmas history of this. Just so you know, this is the Radioactive Beast Mode's second Christmas. So let's go to the normal Beast Mode. It's had quite a few Christmases to take a look at here. Um, take a look at Christmas over here. Instead of selling for, you know, typically 17, 13, 10 even, 16s. Sorry, selling for 20s up here. Um, I wish I could zoom in. Can I do that? Oh, I can. That's so cool. Um, let's see. This is Christmas over here. Yeah, you can see it goes up a lot during Christmas and then goes back down after, but whatever. We go to 2018 time. You can see it just, Christmas kind of boosted the raise a little bit. You can see it started raising more and more as time went on here. 
and this Christmas, I think it's probably gonna do all right as well. Even though I'm not, I, even though I don't own it, I still think Beast Mode's gonna do fine. Radioactive Beast Mode, I think, is a solid 15k during Christmas. Nothing crazy. Playful Vampire, however, this might actually do really well. Look at Christmas here, right? Instead of selling for the usual three to four k, it started going up to six k. Selling for six k instead of three to four, almost doubled the normal price. You can see now it's already doing pretty well. Even in recent days, it's been doing pretty well. I think this has potential to be the next super, super happy face. I think this might actually do really well when Christmas comes around. I really believe this could actually outshine Radioactive Beast Mode. I, I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like it probably could. Blue Steel Bucket, however, I might, trade, I might trade this off. If we take a look at the Christmas history, it does end up selling for a lot more. You can see it increases around the Christmas time, goes to 6k, but I don't know if that's really going to hold true this year. If we take a look over here, yeah, actually, maybe I'm doubting it and I shouldn't be. You can see going into the New Year's, this started selling for 7k instead of the normal, like, you know, 4 to 5. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should really have faith in this item. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to sit down and think about it, but I don't know how, how well that's going to do. And then legit. Legit always does well during Christmas. There's never a time when Legit does horribly during Christmas. It's a fedora. More specifically, Legit fedora. We have archives going back to 2012, dude. You can see even during, um, let's see. Oh my god, it's so hard to even find Christmas during these years. Um, let's see, Christmas 2012. Sold for 2,000 instead of 1,000. Went back down after a while. Um, you can see if we... Dude, there's so many Christmases to look at. You can see right here, this Christmas, it went up to 4K. If we go back to Christmas 2017, instead of selling for, you know, fours, it started selling for sixes. You can see if we go back another Christmas, instead of selling for threes, it started selling for fives. Yeah, legit always does really well during Christmas. The people who hoarded this, I remember making a video talking about hoards and all that. Twizzy Twist is going to do really well this Christmas. He has 98 of these. He's, his rap chart is going to be insane come this Christmas, okay? It's going to do so well. And honestly... I really do believe that that might have been a really smart investment. Even though in my video, I was like, why are you hoarding these? You might not make a profit because this might not, you know, go up during Christmas. Having 99 of them is definitely going to increase your wrap a lot. And I think that you could probably make money off of this, like quite a lot of Robux off this. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Just talking about, you know, the predictions I have. I think I could probably hit about 150k value when Christmas rolls around, if not more. I don't know. I, I, I feel like these seasonal things like, you know, Christmas and, you know, Black Friday, they really gave my value a boost. But once, you know, the hard trading comes out after Christmas and we go into the month and a half almost. No, actually, I think it's two months until President's Day. It's really going to show the trading grind that we're going to have to go through. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know down in the comments. Do you think my items are going to raise as much as I think they are? Or am I crazy? Am, are these not going to go up at all? Please let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye.